Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell. He's a Second Swing Master Fitter. Today, we're at Callaway at the Performance Institute, testing out some new Maverick irons. Uh, we've got the standard model of Maverick, then Maverick Pro and Maverick Max. I've hit all three models, and uh, I know Thomas kind of got even uh, with our a fitter, Jason, to be able to kind of come in and maybe look at your numbers compared to the X Forge, which is what you play. Uh, so Thomas, just first of all, you hit the standard iron for your the fitting uh, purpose. What did you think, look, feel, uh, and then performance as well? What did you think? You know, it looked like a great iron. It looked like your traditional good-looking Callaway irons. Yeah. Callaway's been number one in irons, I think, I believe in 2019. So nothing's changed there. Great off the club face. Biggest thing I noticed, you know, feel-wise, you know, it felt really, really solid. Really, really solid off the face. It went far also. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the big, big difference was that six iron versus with, with the X Forge versus six iron with the Maverick standard iron. You know, I was carrying the ball, I think it was 26 yards further with the Maverick standard yeah. iron. Now, yes, there's a little bit of a loft difference in between them, but the really interesting thing that I found out was I really didn't lose much spin. You know, the fact that the X Forge, you know, 30 degrees aloft versus the Maverick um, standard club with 24 degrees aloft. I only lost about 700 RPMs. Right. Yeah, you know, it's about two clubs right there, and, and with eight, with a six degree loft difference. But I'm still going to have plenty of stopping power on the green. So that's right. a big, big difference I noticed. Yeah, I think you know you attribute some of that too to you know the flash face cup uh, and the artificial intelligence that went into these irons. It's kind of the first time uh, you know the artificial intelligence has been incorporated into the irons packed, and each club face is AI optimized for you know, a certain trajectory at each loft. I thought, you know, pack a huge punch, right? I mean, you, you saw the big distance numbers. I got a big distance gain as well. So the Maverick standard, you know, big win there in terms of distance. And I think the launch was easy as well. Um, the Maverick Max now is one you're holding. Yep. Uh, that's gonna be for, you know, a little slower swing speeds. Also, uh, you're gonna get, you know, the, the loft isn't quite as as, uh, as strong. It's gonna get those that ball into the air and help those players uh, really hit the ball in the, not only in the air, but also hit it farther. Yeah, so that's interesting you bring up the loft differences. You know, the Maverick Max, believe it or not, the 8-iron versus 8-iron when we're hitting them, you know, the Maverick Max actually has a little bit more loft on it. Now, this is designed for those specific players that need help getting the ball in the air. Loft is your friend. Loft is going to get that ball to go up yep. and carry a little bit further. So I thought it was interesting that kind of your more game-improved iron that had a, little, had a little more loft on it, to give a little more carry distance. Essentially, that what we're trying to do is think out on the golf course. If there's a bunker out there that you've got to carry, you know, it's still going to stay in there a little bit longer yeah. so the ball can stop, fly a little higher and stop on the green pass. Right, better. exactly. Yeah. I think with all three iron models, they did a really good job of giving you that stopping power. Uh, and I think it's appropriate for each swing speed, too. You got the Maverick Max, obviously, you get that ball into the air to help those that maybe don't have the stopping power, don't have the height to get that nice soft landing on the green. Maverick Standard, obviously, as we discussed, great height and distance. Um, then the Maverick Pro as well. Um, it's, you know, obviously for a little faster swing speeds, but you're still gonna get that good launch and get a nice soft landing on the green as well. So, uh, and in terms of appearance, again, it's, you know, I, I, great looking iron. You got that chrome design as well. I know you like that um, out of your Callaway irons. So, uh, three great options really here for, and, and any golfer is going to be able to fit into one of these three models. Yeah, that's what it really comes down to. The three great options, any golfer is going to fit into one of these three models, whether that be the Maverick Pro, Maverick Standard, or even the Maverick Max. Mm -hmm. so, Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Thomas, I know we've had a lot of fun today hitting these irons. So, golfers out there, if you're trying to improve your iron game, Callaway Maverick, either the Standard, the Max, or the Pro, uh, three great options for you in 2020.